Yeah, truly amazing. I want to ask you also about something I think is truly amazing. Sure. The return of Roaring Kitty. <laughs> okay. GameStop and the memes. That, why am I whispering? Um, number one, you think investors missed out on GameStop. But number two, are you seeing people trying to mimic his strategy uh, well, if we say mimic his strategy... I mean, not 300 million. Right, <laughs> yeah, we, we'd like to mimic that part, right? But uh, people going long, yes, we have seen some of that. This doesn't even compare to the meme stock fr- frenzy, though. No? I, it, not, not even, you know, uh, probably about 15 to 20% of the volume. Huh. So it doesn't even compare to that. And, and you look what's going on there. There are clearly people who are just... <laughs> GameStop crazy. Today, if you look at the 128 call, almost 10,000 of those traded. The stock closed 2546. The 128 for, call. For not this Friday, but a week from Friday. A 10 banger. A, a, a 10 banger for a week from Friday. People, 10,000 traded today almost. That's absolutely crazy. So, I mean, if it hits, they're going to get super rich. Well, if they could buy something a lot closer, they get a lot richer. One thing to keep in mind, so that's in the options market. The options market is Im- only implying about a $12.5 move in that same time that you're playing for a $103 move. So, again, th- there, there's always going to be some silliness. At the end of the day, I think most people are sensible, and they're saying, okay, if something yeah. happens, maybe I want to have some of my you know, speculative activity there. But overall, I'm not playing this as a major part of my portfolio. And because of that, they're being smart about it. And I think that's really the best part about what we're seeing is people aren't getting as sucked in, perhaps, as they did last, last time. There's no FOMO. There's no get the man. Yeah. And that's what we saw. I love it. I'm in a big always love your insight, your takes. JJ Kinahan, thank you very much. Appreciate it to be here with you. I will say that the interview we just watched was much more level headed than many of the clips I've seen from the financial press about GameStop recently. I think JJ pointed out something very important. Individual investors are making their own financial decisions. If you've been watching this channel for a while now, you know I've repeatedly said that much of the financial press cannot stand to see GameStop rally because GME is representative of individual investors making their own decisions. Much of the financial press and their overlords on Wall Street do not want individual investors to think for themselves or make decisions on their own. They want you to tune in regularly, buy the stocks they say to buy, sell the stocks they say to sell, and to do so when they tell you to. GameStop flies in the face of that, and much of the financial media cannot stand to see GME AMC or any other so-called meme stock rally because it is a reminder to the financial press of the independence of the individual investor and their financial media's waning relevance in the eyes of the masses. For decades, famous money managers on Wall Street could go on national television and pump the stocks they owned, all the while using the public as exit liquidity, and no one said anything. Notorious short sellers were welcomed on national TV with open arms to bash and deride the companies they were shorting, and no one said anything. But when individual investors start making their own financial decisions and a random guy on the internet shares his opinions about a company he likes, much of the financial press lose their minds. Nevertheless, individual investors are going to continue supporting their favorite companies while also advocating for meaningful reform in the financial markets. At the end of the day, what individual investors want is simple, and nothing we're advocating for is beyond the realm of reason. Individual investors want a free, fair, and transparent stock market. We want large institutions to be held accountable for their actions. We want individual investors to have access to the same real-time data from exchanges' better private feeds, which is currently only available to the large firms on Wall Street. We want short sale data to be reported in real time. We want an end to excessive amounts of failures to deliver, and we want entities who fail to deliver on their obligations to be held accountable. We want an end to payment for order flow due to the insane conflicts of interest it creates. There's a reason why so many other countries have already banned it. We want the exchanges to be not-for-profit utilities as they once were. The exchanges becoming for-profit ventures has created so many conflicts of interest at the expense of individual investors. We want increased competition among market makers. And we want all of individual investors' orders to be routed directly to lit transparent exchanges rather than opaque alternative trading systems known as dark pools. Ultimately, it's simple. What we want is a stock market that offers a truly level playing field for all investors. Please leave a like on this video so more people will see it. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.